Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to season three of Comics Remixed. I'm Junior Ruiz, alongside my heterosexual life mate, David Sanchez. David, it's good to be back. Hey man, how's it going? Good, right good, on, good. Yeah. We missed you guys. We missed you. We hope you missed us. How's your off season, man? Fast. Fast? <laughs> okay. <laughs> it was fast. <laughs> it was fast. You know, um, I will be honest, there were times where I was just like, man, I really enjoyed that relaxation, and I was in no hurry to come back. Yeah. But then, as the weeks got closer, I started getting a little bit antsy. Like, you know what? This is going to be fun. I didn't miss any of you. I was very happy. I mean, I missed the fans. I didn't miss you guys. No, I didn't, I didn't miss anybody in the crew. Because you guys are, like, always around anyway. I was like so I didn't get a chance you to miss anybody. <laughs> I, I didn't get a chance to miss anybody. John's here every Friday. I talk to Brian all the time. You know, it's just it's like everybody's always around. I didn't get a break from you assholes. Yeah. But now we got to talk about what's going on in the comic biz, as you guys know, and for anybody new, we satire the world of comics. We like to talk about what goes in the pages, what's on TV, what's on the books. We give our own personal opinions, and we try to do some Zen moments and throw you some knowledge, so you can walk away thinking, "Keyword: Try." Man, what the hell did I just watch? <laughs> and will I watch it again? Which we hope you do. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you very much for watching <coughs> this one anyways we're starting off uh, since the beginning of the year up until the ending of this month of March uh, if you have been like looking out for the big sales on comic books uh, newcadia.com they've been having a $50,000 giveaway of, of just these gift cards uh, you enter the contest uh, no purchase necessary you, you could if you were a past customer you're already in it um, if you're not a customer at all there's a link you can send in your name and boom you're in the contest and what happens is you win your little chunk of this 50 grand worth of comic book swag uh, it could be a gift card for for $250 that you could just reuse at their at their online store and we're not talking digital we're talking about like, like actual books that you could grab and and or and or merch it could be toys collectibles that's that's a pretty good deal to me man I've never even heard of them but why not? I'm gonna enter. Yeah, I've, I've never shot, stuff. man. But you know what? That that that's it. That takes me back, man. You remember? Uh, you remember when we used to order off of uh, Mile High? No, I never ordered from Mile High. You didn't? East Coast Comics, baby. East Coast, there Trenton, New Jersey. East Coast. East oh Coast my God! Comics. Mile High was the ad on the comic books. East Coast was as well. East Coast had a white page with like oh, light blue boom. bordering. Yeah, you just took me back, man. You just took me back. You got me into that. I used to order through you. Yeah. They had hella discounts, man. I mean, back then, I mean, what? A comic that was a dollar ninety nine, you got for like a dollar forty or something like that. Yeah. And you know, for us being kids, that's still that was that was major. You know? And the reason I was I flashed back to that was because um, for this newcadia.com, I was a completely new visitor. I heard about this contest. I clicked on the link, and they actually had great deals on there. And they they had bundles up there for like dollar comics. I was like, man, that's great. I don't collect anything. If you guys know me, I don't. I don't buy anything. A lot of it is because of the price. You know, it's like you got a budget just to buy a bunch of books. Um, so I think I think uh, I might do a few purchases off of there. All right. But now to to contrast that, uh, we have our boys over at Comicsology. Uh, everybody's familiar now with Comicsology and what they do. Um, they're a, a digital giant. Mm -hmm. They're a digital giant, and right now um, they have, for me, I, I believe this is one of their first sponsored sales and or giveaways. Uh, they're teaming up with uh, the Constant Tour South by Southwest 2014, and they got this bundle where it's a value of over $300 worth of digital comics. You buy that bundle for $10. Okay, three hundred and over three hundred. I think we, I think it's three hundred and thirty-three dollars. Okay, you buy it for ten dollars, and it's all number ones. Okay, all number ones of indie comics. Uh, actually, our friends on Big Big Dog Inc. They're they're on there. They got some books on there. Actually, it's all books that I would read. It's all books. I'm I'm definitely attracted to this entire list, and it's just ten bucks. The kicker is, it's all digital. How do you feel about that? Um, obviously, it, it's affordable in the sense that they can. Uh, get, they're just giving you downloads. 
you yeah. know, so they're not, it's not costing them for, you know, to print all these books out, shipping them to you and all this stuff. So, you know, 10 bucks for all of that, it's, it's a great deal. Um, and it's a way to utilize the digital market. It's a, okay, you know, I want to go into a comic store and pick this up, but I don't want to pay $4 for something I'm not sure I'm going to like. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, I always got my tablet or whatever with me anyway. Let me go ahead and read it. I like it. Okay, I'm hoping to go into a comic store and uh, start grabbing them from there on, you know. And that's where I felt like there was some it's like kind cocaine, of a, man. It is. It's like cocaine. First that's exactly free, what I do I mean, with my cocaine. First is to chain it. Yeah. <laughs> uh, and I think uh, that's where I, I probably felt a little aged when I was comparing these two right here because, uh, I mean, you're getting three hundred dollars worth of books for ten bucks. That's not bad at all. But not at all. You're not getting a book. Is that me? Is that is that me because I'm this older generation? Maybe of, they should have phrased it different. Maybe it should have been you're getting three hundred dollars worth of content. Of content, digital download, yeah, something like that. Because mm -hmm. like, I mean, is is, is or the label sister number ones maybe label it as three hundred dollars worth of tryouts or something, you know, or uh, entry points or something, yeah. you know. Because you can't com yeah, you can't complain because of the value, but at the same time, I think I spent more time on the new Cadia site to see what books I could actually get at a at a cheaper price, right? So. I believe that there is still this gap uh, out there of people who who are okay with just hanging out with their device, their iPad, their Galaxy, and, and just looking and sifting through books. And someone like me who, and you, <laughs> that would still rather have those pages in oh, yeah. hand. Yeah. You know, that's crazy. The only but, time I'd be like, damn, I wish I had it digitally is if something happened to my physical collection. But even digitally, you you could have an external hard drive. That's true. Not even hooked up to to your computer, just having an external, and your external could crash. Right. That happens a lot to artists, you know. Yeah. Can I, I want to know? Um, as an artist, I use Shutterstock a lot to to you know I have work to get graphics and stuff, and they have re and they're redownloadable. Mm -hmm. Even though you even though you bought it once, you. You bought it, so you could keep downloading it for free. Okay. Can you do that with Comixology? I don't know, but I know one thing that you're not going to be able to do with Comixology is get Marvel comics from them anymore. Snaps! Marvel's trying to what? build their own digital distributor. So they've pulled, if I'm not correct, if they pulled already or if they're going to pull their stuff from Comixology. But the point is, Marvel wants to be their own digital distributor. Cutting the legs off. Yep, you want a Marvel digital comic, you've got to go through Marvel. So, a lot's happening here. Because I, for one, I'm I'm in the way not surprised. I'm always doing this because they should have been doing it. Mm -hmm. You go on your phone, you look on apps. You can find a DC app. You can find a Marvel app. You can find an Image, Dark Horse. You can ha you can find an app for every single comic company out there. Mm -hmm. So it's more like why have they been using Comicsology? Right. Why right. is it is it because Comicsology was just the first to jump on the horse and be like, hey, we could do this for you. We have we have the people we have the resources to to convert all these things digital, but now, as a comic book company, you have the power to 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 properly translate these to digital. You know what I mean? Yeah. You could you could you could actually control visually how they look. You could probably redo the layout. Maybe if you buy a digital comic, uh, the layout will be completely different from the print. It does that. I no one cares. Either. Anyway, anyways, um, so now, let's let's switch gears for a well, moment. I just want to add just uh, one quick for thought, just one point for thought. Um, if all the powerhouses start leaving Comicsology, which their main one was Marvel, right? Then How long before then DC does it, and then Comicsology is just a place for indies? And you're left with Comicsology versus Thrillbent. Mm. That's it. That's that's what happens digitally. <coughs> Excuse me. The fight, man. Right. I'd like to see that. I'd like to to get Mark Wade on this. Hopefully, I can get an online interview. Look out for that one pretty soon. Um, we're gonna go ahead and end this segment with uh, your uh, wrap up for MightyCon. Yeah, man. Uh, we had How a great that? time. I went there with Alex Martinez. You're gonna get to know him. He's one of our new co-hosts. He's uh in charge of the collectors corner, uh, corner segment. <laughs> <laughs> collectors corner segment where he's gonna. Bring the point of view as the collector on the hunt for that favorite toy. Uh, Alex also does custom action figures uh, where he repaints them. Anyways, Alex and I went to MightyCon. 
Uh, we did a lot of networking there with other uh, uh, mom and pops out there. But when that was said and done, when the, when the videotaping was done, uh, we shopped. We shopped and, and and we were just in full like happy mode, just just having a great time talking to all these all these shops and we were getting deals. We we haggled and we got deals. Which so Mighty Con, you would say, is a place to really go and uh, get a good uh, good score. Yeah, uh, actually, I'm I'm very excited to go to my next uh, my next regional convention. Okay. That's not that's not a big deal like a C2E2 or Wizard World, uh, which if you guys get by now, if you guys have been going to a Wizard World lately or a C2E2 lately, it's been tough to haggle. Oh yeah. You're not you're not getting the deals like you used to. I remember when we used to go to Wizard World and we would be able to buy long boxes like twenty or thirty bucks mm -hmm. because the retailer doesn't want to take that back and lug that around, you know. Right. And those days are gone, man. And I felt like that spirit was recaptured in this small little con that was a. Uh, it, it was it was like in this giant shed, <laughs> it, but it was great. I was I was very excited about it. I was happy about it. I was talking about it with, to everybody. Uh, people didn't want to go there because they, it re it wasn't too retail -y. Like the appeal, the visual appeal wasn't there for them. But in the end, to walk out with that swag, it was great. They even had a video game section. They had old consoles like N sixty four, PlayStation, and, and you could sit there for free and just just game. Nice. And which nice. was a great way to meet other people. Very you know, nice. Gaming with strangers. It was great. <laughs> So before we end, we want to go ahead and tell you guys about our uh, new schedule for our fans out there who follow us constantly. Thank you. Um, we start our weeks now on Wednesdays. Uh, Breaking the Fourth Wall is going to be what starts the week. Uh, followed Thursday by my review videos, which I'm bringing back. Uh, Fridays, you can catch Brian and I on the Spinner Rack. Saturdays, we got uh, Alex doing Collector's Corner. Sundays is our, uh, our rotation day, so to speak where we'll either throw you a, a segment of movies remixed or we might spotlight a local shop. You know, so you gotta keep in, uh, what's the word? Stay tuned to see what we're doing for Sunday. Sundays is always the uh, potluck day, I guess. Yeah, and we've been meeting up with some some interesting uh, uh, shop owners and artisans, people that do very interesting things to repurpose mm -hmm. comics too. So we hope to keep it, keep it fresh for all of you. So yep. stay tuned. Monday is our buy day. And uh, for those uh, wrestling fans out there who partake in our Monday Night Raw um, Facebook posts, you could actually continue those conversations on, uh, or listening to those conversations, I suppose, on Tuesday where we end the week with John and Tony doing the rest, the Lock Up Wrestling Podcast. You know? Yeah, those, those are usually pretty fun. We get some interesting commentary. Yeah. I'm thinking about uh, actually joining in sometime and just troll the shit out of comic fans. Comic fans, wrestling. I mean, fans. wrestling fans. I'm wrestling not a wrestling fans. guy, so I, I, I think it's great whenever I get John just red in the face when I totally talk shit about wrestling. So yeah, that'll be it. Quick rundown. Said again, Wednesday breaking the fourth wall. Thursday the reviews. Friday the spinner rack. Saturday collectors corner. Sunday is our bot, our um, potluck day. Monday is the buy, and Tuesday we end the week with the lock up wrestling podcast. All right. Yeah. So on the bigger and better things for season three. We'll catch you guys next week where we continue discussing some of the uh, big comic news that's come out in the last uh, two to three months since we've been off. All right. Take it easy, people. See you next week.